It is time. My save file saved, yay. We're back. I, as you see, I have two new fellas. They're in. <laughs> They're in the island. I will uh, quickly head over here to show them off, and to just show off uh, just both of these things. So you have farm islands. Eventually, you get more than one, but for now, we just start with this first one. We don't have any training goods, which I will be going to purchase. <clears throat> Uh, farm stats, you can see how much Digimon grow by per day, etc. You said fellas chillin'. I named uh, Beta Mon Cider, because cider is a beta drink. Uh, and I named this little fella Bacardi because I need to get rid of different types of stuff early so I don't just forget them later and Bacardi is a type of white rum but that is the uh, that's the island a sort of a digi lab <laughs> other slabs uh, I definitely showed this off but if I did, then you'll be able to see here that Betamon and uh, Kapurimon are no longer, you know, there. Da, 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 da. Let me quickly check uh, Cider's Digivolution line, though. <laughs> First of all, let's just let's just look at this guy. Look at that guy. He's got a gun. He's got a. I mean, that's a metal attack. Dark attack and water attacks. So it's actually pretty, like, diverse. And then you have a squid. Um. Yeah, actually, I think it's. I can't actually tell, but. Look about it, yes. Physical, dark, lightning, water, and he has this raised water resist removal. And then Dolphmon at the bottom here, I think probably looking at it the easiest to actually obtain, uh, is a fast boy. And he gets a wind attack, metal attack, but mainly water attacks. Now I was looking at quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of uh, Digimon evolution charts uh, yesterday. Do that thing again. Like, it just irons itself out. My PC isn't hot. Like, it's not like it's overheating or anything. It just likes to do that. But uh, either way, you can kind of see that... You know, Vatamon's obviously a bit behind, but it's really, like, you could start using it. Especially with how most encounters are three-on-one. Now, there are relief Digimon here, so I might put these in an island to show it off, but I'm actually going to be taking these out of a... I'm going to be moving these to the party. Now, this is another reason why grinding is so simple in this game, because I believe that every single member of your party, including those in your retreat box, gain experience. Either way, I did complete the other mission last time. I unlocked a new area called the Sunken Tunnel. It's home to exclusively 
Aquan and Machine Digimon, I believe. So I dealt with that, and now we have a new Union Quest. One that I've already signed up for, Explore Limit Valley. So I will be on my way. We were just informed. Oh, uh, capitalization. Digimon, I can't do it to edge the area of Limit Valley. Hello, let me go to Limit Valley. And that's basically it. They tell us to just go investigate again. Which, yeah, that's cool. You know, very early game, just, oh, go to this place, go to this place. We still don't know the actual plot. And here it is, Limit Valley. Holy beast, dragons, birds, and insect plants. And more absolute bangers. Now this, as you might be able to tell, is definitely somewhere you need to go for a quest. Argumon. Renamon. And Shamamon. I'm gonna kill Argumon. No, you see, yeah, these guys are pretty uh, high level. You can definitely get pretty decent experience from them. That was not able to get Argumon down. I'm actually gonna just Gatling Punch Renamon twice with a Wind Claw and Argumon to finish it off. And Holy Shoot Shamamon. Punch, punch. <laughs> As you can see, Shamamon just took its turn almost randomly. That's just because of how the speed has carried over for turn order. But either way, uh, punch, punch, and finish off with a breath attack. And look at that, that's a lot of experience, and the Cardian Finder leveled up six times, five times. So you'll be able to see, ooh, those are usable stats. Well, maybe not the Cardi, but Cider, ooh -hoo -hoo. Yeah, we got this point that attacks rivaling. That's better than Soju if I want to put him on. Obviously, he's significantly slower and less spirit, so I think he does less damage. But hey, you know, he's on his way. Didn't actually check what uh, you over here did you bolt into, but it's only a start. Just cute stuff like level 10, level 12. Aptitude of 11, so if I want to actually get Totem on. Don't need to go for Horn Chessmon or Kagaramon, which are both cool. Or is that Hagaramon? I think it's Hagaramon. Either way, that's all that's really up there. Let's take a look at uh, that box. But yeah, it's like a permanent XP share. But it's like, uh, it's like modern XP share. Which, it just makes it very convenient to do grinding. Because it's, it's, it's the game's kind of designed around it. Like, I mean, honestly, unlike modern Pokemon games, which just seems like you just overpower everything with it. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's normal Beomon. They are higher level than... Soju, but we're still dealing with them fine. Now there is a there is a Digimon later, but I think about on a more than regular actually that's very much over exaggerating. But I think about more than once in a year. <laughs> Which I mean I do think about like Argumon and stuff, but it's a very niche one. But I wanna kind of show Big levels, big levels. 
which we'll get when we get to the dark area of this place. DigiRT, that's very nice. Because, yeah, you see, you know, this wild Beamon is just weaker than mine, which is nice. Uh, I'm actually going to put them together again. It's going to make me take more damage, but the buffs they provide are still useful. Anyway, here we are in the <laughs> dark area, and there he is. So there's a... I don't know if I'll be able to bring this up. Um, it's just not right. let me, I'm trying to get this, uh, trap mons, okay, uh, where is it? It's coloss it's colossal. Uh like let me bring this up here. I think I can do Ooh, it's probably gonna cut out, but like <laughs> like tell me, like let me like let's switch back. Oh, that's my audio console telling me my thing isn't plugged in. Tell me! I mean, it's obviously they have shared inspiration, but I always think of it whenever I see that mod. And I don't even play cat mods much. This is, as you saw by the 5% growth and first wild champion Digimon, though. You can tell the areas are getting a little tougher. It's level 27 as well. This is a, I mean, this is almost a boss battle. This is something, you know, it's going to do quite a bit. I look at about 93, and we'll resist Earth now. Ooh. You know, it's almost worth using a uh, Digiar here, just to not die. So there we are, and as a reward, 50 beast experience, which is a sizable sum. Either way, in this box here, we get a broad shield, another piece of equipment that we can use uh, for more defense. I'm inclined to give this to Beomon. However, as you see, it is only level 20 fully and above, which means I kind of have to give it to, uh, to Rum here, and it's a pretty big buff. Like, Rum has just kind of <laughs> outpaced the rest of my team with that. Either way, uh, as is pretty obvious from the whole Dark Orb there, this is the end of the area. Oh yeah, I'm playing this. <laughs> Taking on one of them is fine. Taking on three is where it gets a little finicky. So I will actually use a DigiRT there. And a couple of these Digimon. And, you know, I will save and try to fight the boss. I'm not sure if this will actually work. And I've honestly forgotten how game overs work. But here's Mystic Energy. My oh boy. You can't defy me, Seasamon. Deal with these. Now, Seasamon is basically barely stronger than a little drill fella from before. So, you know, <laughs> just, just, just kill it. Uh, punch. Beat. I mean, seriously, look at that equipment coming in already.
much of that holy cannon. If I had them arranged in a three arrangement, it would have been a bit rough. So it's kind of hard to find an optimal, I guess, arrangement. Usually I would just say having all three of them together works. Which is the fact that they give their adjacency buffs if they have them. But, you know, I feel like there's definitely something to do. As you see, we're confused. Which means, I believe... Okay, I think it just means your hit rate goes, like, super down, and it's just really sad. But, uh, it looks like it didn't matter. That's a sizable sum of experience, but Charlie's already max level. <laughs> oh, I wanted to fight the bugs. Now I have to fight this thing! It's Grimon, the first major boss of this game. And the boss that I'll be able to show off. This! Some Digimon have multiple rows. And some Digimon have very large health bars. Which is very scary. The reason Sisamon gave you so much experience before is because you kind of ought to be leveled up for this. A little sad that Rum couldn't, but uh, with their defense, it should be fine. This is again another no element Digimon, so just hit it as hard as you can with your neutral hits. Whew. I'm going to use a Digi out of this turn. <laughs> and it was worth it. <laughs> Down, down, down. <laughs> if I want, I mean, yeah, look at this. It's so, oh, there's a lot of turns. I will use a Digiard D though. Yeah. And if I want Sake to survive, I probably want to use a T as well. Okay, but now, because it took so many turns in a row, our speed's kind of overtaken it, and now we get quite a lot of turns in. So, you might be questioning, if I had a multi-hit move, would it be dealing double damage? And the answer is yes. And not multi-hit as in, uh... Normal tier is in like Gatling Punch, I mean like a two tile move. And yes, it would be doing uh, twice the damage it usually would on a single target. It's something that is, you know, you need to keep in mind when we get later on, when we fight more bosses like this. But for now, uh, we don't have any access to that because we're still quite early days. Um. Grimon has three turns it can take. So I'm just gonna. I'm still gonna Gatling Punch, but uh, Sake might go down here. And I just used AT Change. Now, I've forgotten <laughs> what that does. Uh. It changes its own strengths and weaknesses. Okay. Uh. Hmm. So. I don't know what strengths and weaknesses I had before, but hey, let's just keep going. Uh, I'm gonna be using an item on Sarkis' turn. Another heal. <laughs> now, you might be saying, oh, your pace certainly isn't uh, the best here. And <laughs> yeah, it isn't. 
this is definitely a little early for this boss. Because I have kind of just swept through a couple of these areas. Uh, especially these misses, they suck. You know, if I use a... I might just use Sarge's next turn to just use a uh, Digimon for run here. In fact, I will do it. So, I mean, as you can kind of see, it's, you know, we're probably going to come out on top. It's still <laughs> pretty scary. Especially about healing items now. I can use a Digi Reviver on Beomon, however, uh, I think just doing damage here is a lot more worth it. And I think this should be down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a tough battle. 304 different experiences. That kind of sucks that two of our Digimon went down, but... Well, we can just grind them up. Back to city. And I mean, that's it. They're on 1 HP. They haven't leveled up. And now, I mean, Sidos already up and, uh, up and ready to go. He's a HP type, so he gets more HP than most other Digimon. And that kind of shows I'll actually probably be slowing him in instead of Eomon, because Eomon doesn't really have much of a... <laughs> doesn't really have much of a use, I guess? I mean, it's a bit rude to say, but... Either way, we're on our way to getting uh, Gessomon or Octomon, whichever one we want to go for, or the Dolphinmon, of course, as well. I will give you the Novice Cloak. And something important before we do anything else... I need to head back to my house to do some... Well, actually, I don't. You can go to the Digivolution route here. And obviously, I don't have the experience for it. But if I was able to, I could Digivolve from the menu. However, I'm not, so I just want to go back to heal first. And now I am healed up. Oh, look at Betamon. He's cute. Uh, so he's a little more bulky defense-wise and has a lot more HP than Sarge. Hits harder. Has less spirit, so actually hits less hard. And obviously less speed and a much lower aptitude. Which doesn't really matter too much, but generally in this game you want to be reaching your level cap before you promote. Uh, so... It means that lower aptitude is a little annoying sometimes. And they're saying that I'm super talented. Because I defeated Grimon. Barely. <laughs> and... That was triumphant. Oh my god, I love it. I got some tamer points. Some bit. And love DE. What is a love DE? Well, you're not going to find that in just your inventory here. Oh, well, actually, you are. It's a love digi egg. Something you can use to armor Digivolve. Which I have uh, this little uh, spreadsheet I'm using. But uh, the love egg. Is used for one armor digivolution, which I will probably be showing off. Which uh, is actually pretty easy to obtain. So if I want to, which I probably will, I will do some grinding off screen to maybe get in a position to do that at some point. That's the thing. Uh, a lot of these uh, conditions are pretty arbitrary. So. It might be a little more for entertainment for me to just get stuff to, you know, their max, like, 
like get them to their max level and do whatever beforehand. Actually, no. Let's let's quit farm. Go to the plaza. Let's just go get some farm items. So this is equipment. This is stuff for specific species. Uh, these bronze stuff is usually for specific things as well. You have the weapons here. Uh, I can also sell if I want. Here is Beomon for consumables. As you can see, <laughs> these are dirt cheap. You do not need to worry about a thing. So where does the money go? Well, it goes into your farm goods, of course. You can train your HP, your strength, defense, spirit, speed, friendship, and different types of experience. And up here, we can remodel our farm island. We're not expensive, we don't have enough money to get it, but we can buy these terrain boards to make experience a lot stronger for different types of uh, Digimon. So I could, you know, there's a lot of these down here that have very specific ones you might want. Some of these later ones are obviously more expensive, but they're usually quite worth it. Uh, now because I want Bacardi to Digivolve, and ideally I want to Digivolve it into Pawn Chess one here because, well, I guess Friendship is probably right around the corner. I, I, you know, I'll do the friendship one. I think it'll be easier. Let's buy some farm goods, though. Because, uh, you know, I have other guys. You know, uh, Rum is close to getting to Fireamon, but he doesn't drop that much. Well, actually, he does have quite a bit of peace experience, but... In fact, yeah, I think Rum is going to be able to Digivolve right when he gets to 25, but I'm going to leave him as he is for a while. Cider, of course, is going to be needing some Aquan experience. Uh, if I want to go for Repamon, I'm going to be needing Holy experience, otherwise good Spirit. Spirit's just an automatic, so realistically Holy. So Holy Aquan are kind of the things we need. So if we want to modify, we can buy a BGM. I forgot you can buy music. <laughs> but, um... You know, you see here, we don't need, you know, Bird and Aquan. Perfectly fine. Let's get the C theme. Let's try to find a powerful Aquan board here. You know, let's go for Magma. And, you know, let's, uh... Actually, let's talk to a center guy. Oh, he's just a health guy. Either way. You know, let's head back home. Because managing your Digi Island is very important. Because this is actually a pretty effective way of grinding up more Digimon at the same time. Set of goods. We obviously have no farm goods. But if we want to set the terrain board. Woohoo! And if we want to set the sea theme. Now we can create the farm PC itself, but let's, let's for example, you know, move Cider in. Its equipment is automatically removed, very kind of them. I will be keeping Bacardi in the party for friendship. Uh, I can also have a put Sake in here. If I want for the holy experience. Or I can put Soju in. But I will keep the four of them with me for now. And you know I'll even go. Buy. An Aquan plaything for him. 
which here we are, a mini shower. You eventually get much stronger versions of these later, but for now, let's just buy a mini shower. And... Because he's a HP type, I'll also buy him a scale. <laughs> you get to play Dollhouse. And it's, uh, I don't know, little side features like these just hit different for me, I will say. So as you see, we only have 8G of memory. So let's set the mini shower. And we can't set the scale now because we don't have enough memory. So now let's talk to Betamon and see how he feels. <laughs> but we can we can just get experience and passively as well Betamon will be gaining some experience uh You know, we'll see the fruits of his labor after we're done, but I assure you it's going to be epic. I always forget how this actually works, so. Um, either way, with that being said, we should probably move uh, Beamon back into the spotlight. I'm just checking traits here. I'll just do Spirit Up 2 for the center. I have way though, with uh, that first Union quest dealt with, we have some more Elemental quests to do. Let's do this first, let's do the second bird one. Because I don't like this first one, because you need to find two materials, and that's boring. Now. Where did it actually tell me to go? Shine Square. Here's the Beomon. Oh no. Not Ship Forest. Oh, and as you see in the top right, he did just do some epic training. Here we are, Ship Forest again. Now in our second run through, we're probably going to be able to get Kokomon and Gummymon. <laughs> Couldn't even see him. Uh... Punch, punch, and there we are. Kunemon. <laughs> so you can have a party of six, you're always using three, well, you can technically use less, but <laughs> you should always be using three. And there's uh, eight elements. Oh, uh, what side are they? <laughs> wow, the water's cold and so refreshing. Oh my god. He's actually, it's so cute. I love it. And, like, even as you get to some of the, like, bigger, stronger Digimon, it's still pretty cute. Honestly, more so because of the juxtaposition. Thing punch. Uh, 
Now, something I will just uh, mention. When we finally digivolve, you'll probably notice that compared to your innate skill, all of your other skills suck. Which, like, it obviously makes sense because you carry over your weak move pool. Um, do I even want to fight this? No. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just see a battle like that, it's just nah. Because <laughs> now I've got 100% Kunamon, so I should realistically be, like, leaving at this point. And, by the way, you don't actually get experience for that. No. You can actually look at the farm status here. So. So in one day, Vedamon can, can gain 164 experience for Aqua. Oh, and I thought you needed food. That's all the farm's for. We'll sort that out. <laughs> it's Gobarimon. Yeah, it's actually leveled up and uh, Soju's about to as well. And bing! Yay. Now at this point, we've won quite a few battles, so Bacardi likes us a little more. Likes us enough to digivolve! So we get to see this for the first time. Going from in training to a rookie. But here we go! I can see the red shows what stats overall increase by the digivolution. Aptitude is usually the one you're going to see improve the most, especially when you're digivolving and degenerating. There we are! A new trait. And now we have Gardromon and Hookmon. Look at Hookmon. And now you can see stuff like this, like Platinum Sujamon. Isn't that perfect? He's a tank. And he slashes. <laughs> Look at that power! Uh, <laughs> so obviously, Sujimon is one of my favorites, which is why wouldn't it be? But uh, if we want to go back to Kapurimon, just five levels, and we're straight back. And then we'll have the ability to get Coatmon, which is our aptitude will be higher. However, there's also the case that what if I want to go for, you know, Hookmon? And I could. I could also go for Gardramon. Which, uh, because we're a tank type, we get more defense. So it's probably pretty safe to say we'll reach it. Really just depends. Now, because of just XP, like, it's gonna level up a couple times probably from this encounter. Yeah. Look at that. Seven defense in three levels. That's good. They might be saying, is there any type of repel? No. <laughs> if you wanna if you wanna deal with encounters, you just flee. But uh there's really no downside to just fighting everything. Especially for little encounters like that. Like, you know, why wouldn't you just, you know, one round this guy with your team and then leave? <laughs> I do want to see farm results. And look at that, side is leveled up. He was very hungry, and that's why he's just sort of down a bit. But, if, uh,. We choose to return, which I'll do so now. 
and I feel bad for you have a sex peer. As you see, days. <laughs> Don't worry, they're not actual days. They are a pretty short amount of time. I mean, specifically grinding for Aqua and XP would have probably been slightly less efficient. But let's, well, let's head to the store here. Buy what is the most important farm good of all. A tiny field. We farming up in this. And as you can see with the sun, there in the top right, that is actually how a day progresses. But let's have a look here. Let's put a tiny field in order. There we are. Now let's talk to Betamon, Saito even. I can't wait to see their effects on our food supply. And because we can again, we can just use some more aqua training there. Now we can actually see stats here and go to Digivolution, and obviously we still don't have enough Aqua experience. But you look here, we've already got 200, and that was not a long amount of time at all. So it's a pretty good way of just grinding it out. And I mean, you get to just see the fella having a shower. <laughs> a lot of these are really silly, you know. So it's great. Oh, were we? Oh yeah, we were actually doing a quest. I kind of ignored that, because I was doing the farm. <laughs> Let's head back to Chip Forest. I will say, uh, I'm certainly not the best when it comes to these types of fetch quests in this game. So I will probably both miss stuff a lot, and uh, also just generally be a bit inept when it comes to focus. Let's just punch these guys down, though. Hey, Bacardi level up and learned a new skill. I was tempted to put him in, honestly, over, uh... Nah, he's, his stats are... Well, his defense is good. But, uh... Not the best, currently. And his speed certainly leaves something to be desired. Hey, that's a tiny field over there. <laughs> so, so he did harvest 20 digi food there. <laughs> which, you might think, oh my god, that's a lot of food. Which kind of is. But, uh... Well, you see that Mr. Rookie over there is already using food. I believe in training, of course, use one. And I'm not sure how it scales up, but I think it's a little more than just one at a time. I think it might be close to factoring of two. I'll fight these Kunimon, why not? I actually really liked the kind of, like, I guess, like, idea behind getting certain types of, uh, experience, though. Like, you fight a bunch of bugs and you become more bug-like. That's just a little cool. Hey, it's a tiny field. Look at that. Cultivation. He's got enough food to last forever. Oh, that's why I've headed back. I wanted to actually, you know, <laughs> either way, this new area has popped up, which I <laughs> kind of didn't realize because I'm a bit of an idiot. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna see that item up there is exactly what we're looking for. A lot of these are pretty simple. A couple of them will have actually a boss attached. Ooh, a date disc. 
Uh, yeah, I don't want to fight that. Yeah. I'm not sure about the odds on escaping. I feel like it's close to 50-50. Probably gets worse as more things happen, but... Yeah. Ah! Yeah, it is one of these. Is this is what happened with the water pillow as well, when I took that quest for the Aquan Digimon. Um, let us be ready for a fight. Bruising for a bruising, as they say. Hello. <laughs> oh, that's the worst about it. Hello. And now Flymon is furious. And Flymon's also very strong. <laughs> this is why it's a uh, two-star quest. This is never us as... Is near enough as strong as the uh, bosses we were fighting back in that other place that I've forgotten? Whew. Now we do have anti poison, but it only cures one tile, and we only have one of it. <laughs> I might, I might go down here. I will say. I'll try my best, but. You know, we're just taking this chip every turn, and... Ooh. Well, I suppose this is a good way of seeing what happens when, <laughs> you know, you lose in battle. Because we're not winning, we're a bit of experience. You can, obviously, put your Relief Digimon in. I... Charge, what a powerful move. Yay! As you can see, uh, Flymon is about three times faster than us. You know what? He took two hits, but your party's wiped. You walk back to your place. And I'm getting a call from my farm to see results. And he's leveled up again! Yay! He was very full. <laughs> he got 60 food. Uh, either way. We can take another look at our Digimon list here. And... Probably trying to have to go into the PC to actually look at his stats here. And hey, look at that! His Aquan experience is basically there. One more day in the one more day in the town, and he's ready. He's also one XP away from a level up, which is just a fun coincidence. That's not always what happens. And from being in here, he hasn't gained any new. Techniques, but hey. I am, however, voice track. Hello. I'm going to be doing some converting. So we have 220% Trunimon. Let's make one of them, shall we? And it uses all of it up. However, having extra scan data gives us more power. Not much, it's marginal, but it's still nice. Now, um, hmm, I'm trying to think here. Ah, uh, you know, this would be whiskey. Glass of whiskey. There we are. And we have, uh, <laughs> Five more to get through, and I really could have just stayed for Gobarimon to get up there as well, but... Let's get Kokomon. Now, Kokomon is probably a Digimon I'm not going to be using. I don't really like any of its uh, Digivolutions. Uh, so for that reason... Uh, um, hmm. what type of, <laughs> I 
Hmm. I'm trying to just think here. You know, I'll draw Troniac because I've never had Troniac before and I feel like it's going to be a while until I do. <laughs> Which I guess is a good way of describing this, you know. I doubt I'm going to be using it for most of the game. Gummy Mon. See now, Gummy Mon in comparison. A lot cuter. A lot more gummy. And it evolves into, <laughs> well... One of the silliest Digimons out there. So, I'm probably gonna be using this. Um, I see, I think of a name here now. Uh. Hmm. Hmm, you know. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna actually name this one. Uh, no, I'll name an actual Aquan Digimon Tonic Water. This will just be for Jin. Because we still have quite a lot more. Now this is, <laughs> I love how it's just named as Mushroom. See now this is a niche one, which I actually looked up for right now. <laughs> which is a uh, Kombucha, which is apparently a mushroom type, uh, like fermented mushrooms in an ale. It's very low alcohol, but it has alcohol in it because most fermented things do. So we're gonna go with that. It's Tanamon, let's look at my chart here. <laughs> this chart is surprisingly useful. <laughs> da, 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 da. Yay. Is it here at the bottom? Yeah, it is. Okay, so this is a line that actually only gets to ultimate. But some of these Digimon are pretty cool. Um, I need to check here. Because there's one I'm probably going to be getting, but does this exist? Okay. I'm going to call this uh, Polk. After, well, I'll be honest. I looked up fermented. Uh, I looked up fermented uh, cactus, and that's what I found. It's a close relation to, but not actually cactus. Some say that tequila comes from cactus, though I don't think there's any actual founding behind that. Finally, we have Tentamon. Which is actually in the same kind of line as Kunamon. 
which you'll be able to actually see here when I look into a couple of them. So I'm gonna actually be making Kunemon into, yeah, I'll do Kunemon into that, and I'll make Tentamon go back, and, okay, yeah. So if this is the case, this is going to be pretty important for me later, but it'll be something that's fused away. So a good mixer. Um, I've got rum. I've got, uh, you know, let's go brandy. <laughs> you know, I haven't gotten there yet. Either way, that is a... Large amount of new guys. So let's just look at Digimon list. And a lot of these are in the bank. And I will show off uh, their evolution lines for now. Do not delete data. That does give you 100% back, so you can just re summon them. But usually not worth it. Unless you're specifically grinding for a specific, uh, like, a specific personality. Which, you might think is weird, but it's actually just something you need to do for a couple quests. Either way, um, see stats here, go to the Digivolution Mine. You can see if we go to Minimon here, look at that, Tentamon! Tentamon evolves into the S, a Super Yanmamon. Which we saw when we were fighting Grimmon. As well as this big guy over here. And also go down to Wormmon with Stingmon. Now Stingmon is pretty important because this is the, generally this Minimon line along with a different line have a couple different fusions they can do. Also yes, Kunamon evolves into Sukumon. This is the best Digimon ever. Uh, <laughs> Now you need uh, EX 1500, which that actually eludes me, and yes, this has random poop the stroke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I... <laughs> so yes, I'm going to be training Tunemon to become Sukumon. Of course I am. Uh, I will also be... moving him into my party and I will also be taking one more to go in my party uh, let's look at Cognac here this goes into Lopmon which is a cute little guy just level 9 so honestly it might be better to just put him in the island you'll also see here with Jin Evolves into a few more. Evolves into Renamon, into Terriamon, and Tapiamon. Now I'm gonna want Terriamon because uh, the evolution of Terriamon is, just, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna get it. So you'll see, you'll see. Uh, oops. Oops, brain, brain, hello. But, uh, again, with this Digivolution, it's just level 9, so I will be moving you to the island. I will also be moving Cognac to the island. And here we can kind of see that, hey, they still have really good growth rates. Now, I haven't actually looked at uh, Kombucha yet, but uh, if we look here, there's a different type of Tunemon. And these evolve, this guy evolves into ninjas. Now, they are both, uh, you know, speedy guys, so what makes them different? Well, it's their techniques. Shadows, this guy has wind, electric, and metal. Moving on Ninjamon over here. 
has wind, electric, and metal. But uh, he has a chowdering effect here, which I don't believe Chodron has. I think Chodron has something different here. Yeah, Chodron has a couple more different range of attacks. And you can speed up allies. So they are actually surprisingly different. But, uh... Well, you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're pretty basic. Um... I think I'll probably be keeping Kombucha in my party, though, because it's... I don't know if I want to actually use it or if I want to digi... do whatever, but, uh, so now we have two more left. Brandy, who you've already seen the evolution line of, and Hulk, who you've also seen the evolution line of. I didn't actually put Hulk anywhere. But I do want to be using Pulp, so I think I'll be moving Pulp to the island. And, well, <laughs> well, Brandy's unfortunately in that position where I have 11 Digimon and 10 slots, which can gain experience. So he will just have to stay put. So let's look at our party now. We've got a couple new members. Both of them are now bugs. Two holy, two bug, machine and bird. Who knows if that's a chip type job? <laughs> yeah, I don't. <laughs> MP type, so I can drive for longer. Attacker type, so he gets big attack. He has a bomb. He has a super soldier. Great times. I am going to be moving Corona back up. Like this. Now let's see how that new day goes up there. Uh, see, if I want to do some grinding, I would go to, if you want to do grinding at this point, it's probably safest to go through, uh, Limit Valley. Oops, but, uh, this actually works. If you want to go through Limit Valley here. And you want to start encountering guys like these, just these higher level, stronger Digimon. Now he resists Earth a lot, but who cares? Punch, punch. Oh, we shoot. And there we are. Big level ups from most of our party there. Oh, this battle is annoying. <laughs> because we want to get through here to the dark area. Now this is so we can start fighting Digimon like this. Now this battle is a very difficult one, I will say, initially. However... There's no point in not trying, so let's focus down Yanmabon first. You can see the damage we do is non-zero, but it's still pretty rough. But they don't do too much back to us, which is nice. Sadly, Confusion's gonna be a little annoying, but... You know, we just deal with it as we deal with it. Let's tackle Yanmabon, and there we are, one of them's down. Let's, uh, now start focusing on Seasamon. Now this is going to give significantly less experience than the, uh, other one we faced. Which is a fact that, uh, I think that was just for a boss encounter. So that's what Confusion does. It, uh, <laughs> makes turns fun. This is why it's usually uh, nicer to just attack it one at a time, because you can start getting into this where two of them have these techniques that can just shut you down, and then this third one's attacking, but uh, we're chilling, we're chilling. Let's just finish off Seasamon though, because it's definitely the uh, problem child of this encounter.
And as you see, we are out of confusion now. And see someone's down, which is very nice. Now we just hit the focus this, and you'll see that the experience we get from a spell is pretty light. It's going to be a lot higher, because we're used to like 20, 30 experience. This might be over 100. Just because of the sheer amount of strong Digimon that are here. This should be it, though. Oh. <laughs> this is it. I'm looking back at near enough 200 experience. That's some big level ups. I mean, even put Soju and Sake near it. And you can also now go past that area up through here. Which is why it's good to come back to some of these areas at some points. Dealing with just one of these is a lot simpler than dealing with so many. So, you usually want to take this opportunity, because it's still... You saw last time this gave about 50 bug experience. Which for, well, you know, let's ignore the missing. But uh, for a realistically pretty low stakes battle, that's good. I mean, look at that. Sake leveled up. Soju's about to level up. Cider wants to shower. Whoa. Now, this is the type of battle where I wouldn't try to fight. <laughs> So, you just flee. And, as simple as that. You can now access this little item here, did you have 150D? Not really worth too much, but you can still keep on exploring some more. Now this is probably enough experience for the rest of the party to evolve. Not evolve, level up. <laughs> Don't imagine if they could just evolve right now. Yeah. Might be a bit weird if you're familiar with either Pokemon or uh, Fire Emblem, I guess, is another similar, like, have your own little army of personalized units. But, uh, yeah, you want to evolve as late as possible. You have to jump down here. This is, like, this right here is one of the huge, like, things I love about this game. Just the fact that you know, you'll see these areas blocked off, and you'll come back later for, like, a side quest, and it's like, oh my god, that's not blocked off, and you'll just spend, like, 20 minutes exploring it. And it's just, like, wow, this is here, this is here. I don't even care if I find items. I just got a dropped item from that guy, which we should check out. Let's look at it on, uh, Ram, of course. This is a level 10 beast exclusive. Now, we don't only beast in our party. But we don't really have any beasts at all. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. But, uh, as you see, that is now looped around. And we're here back to the start again. So that's a nice little loop that you can do in this place. Die, Agumon. Excellent. A new skill, eh? Hmm. By the way, I believe this is basically like the starting area, right? I always get a little lost. <laughs> oh well, if it is, then I missed this. Let's just attempt to flee. This is definitely where you'd find a side quest later. <laughs> it's like, you just know. And it's good to know. Because you get to explore these areas now and just say, Oh, yep, yeah, that would be there. And I can keep that in mind. Now, more than Pokemon, I would say that this game kind of incentivizes you to have more than one of the same Digimon. Both for um, fusion, as well as the fact that uh, you can have different personality types, which are nichely useful for unlocking quests. Either way, um, I don't know if this is time based or not. I'm gonna. 
it is time based. I just need to press the speed up button if I want. Okay. So. And look at that. Why is the game not making noise anymore? Hello? Oh, it's a sad, uh, it's my, is my browser making noise, is it? Okay, yeah, it is. Hmm. Now then. Uh, shut up. Well, I suppose I'll reopen the ROM, but, uh, look at that, two level ups, nine level ups across the board for these guys. Everyone was very full. And we can head over here, and I mean, realistically, start evolving. A lot of these, uh, realistically, min-maxing isn't too important, especially on these early ones. So, if we just want to see stats here on Hulk, we can just straight up go on to Palmon if we want. Uh, do I want to go to Palmon though? Well, yes I do. Because what Palmon digivolves into afterwards is important. Tarnimon goes, Palmon comes out. Just gonna keep Hulk. And here is Togemon! Look at that man right there. It requires level 19, friendship and attack. We have the aptitude to go for it. And this is probably going to be a guy I bring around quite a bit once we get our access to him. I'm going to keep... Uh, I need to put Polk in my team at some point though, so I might do that swap. But uh, let's do a bit more uh, evolving, eh? Cider now has enough awkward experience to go for any of these. Not enough spirit yet, but that's fine by me. Only has an aptitude for 22 anyway, so just needs to get those extra levels. Uh, looking at his actual evolution line. Uh, hold on. Yeah, looking at Betamon, uh, I f the Jessamon and Octamon don't actually evolve past Champion. It's only Dolphmon that does it. So I might just want to go for Dolphmon. But I also kind of want to see what uh, Jessamon can do. It's like this mid-game guy. Deadly Shade. I'm Shade. I'm going to get Jessamon. Unless Octamon impresses me with its technique. Oh, it also has Shade. So this is, you know, dark, water, and steel. This is, uh, dark, water, and electric, actually, with unexpected blow. And Dolphmon over here. With, a uh, water wave, which is just this big AoE, which is nice. I will be keeping Psyduck. In the island for now, because he is growing the strongest, but Cognac is able to digivolve, and I will be doing so. Lopmon! Look how cute that little guy is. <laughs> Keep Cognac the same. And now it, uh, <laughs> now it goes to this, and, uh, this. <laughs> Usually it's kind of, it's a little... Some of these just like, you know, you have this cute little rabbit guy, but now you have this, uh, now, uh, level 20 or level 29, I'm to use 25, so the only one we can actually go for here is Centaurmon, sorry, Centaurumon, 
when to turn them on. As well, yeah. Uh, let me have a quick look at the actual full Digivolution line here. Uh, I'll probably go for. I don't know. None of it, uh, I'll probably be seeing, yeah, okay, uh, that's a, that's a good way of thinking about it. I'll probably be seeing the other side with one of my others, so I will actually be going for Wendy Gomon, so I will be, uh, digivolving and then degenerating. Oh boy, let's get back to the island here, and have you evolve too. Can't evolve into Tapir or Renamon yet. However, I always want to go for Terriamon, because as we'll see, <laughs> it's really silly. Oh my god, look at him. Keep Jin. And, <laughs> I mean, look at that Chad. <laughs> Bunny Pummel. Big Tornado Boost on. Oh, it's so cute. And uh, we can see Tapiamon evolves into that thing. <laughs> Some of these are just creatures. See Samon, which I mean, I can just get on my own. So no point in going down that line. And Renamon as well can go into Cubimon. I wonder what well, that's based on. I've never seen anything like that. And Sorcerymon, which is just a guy. Either way, uh... The Digi evolve into our dear friend here. He needs friendship, so I'm probably gonna be moving Jin onto the team as well. That does also mean I'm gonna be moving a couple of good friends here off. Uh, now Whiskey both needs. I need to see what EX actually means here. Oh, it's just total experience. Okay. Well, his total experience is, yeah, I suppose around 400. But, uh, I mean, by the time I reach there, it probably is just going to be 1500 experience. Bit of a weird one. But, uh, yeah. Because of the only experience requirement, let's try to sort this. So, whiskey can move to the island. I will be taking gin. Uh, now Soju is one level away from actually getting to save a Dramon, and kind of reaching the pinnacle of its growth, so I will be keeping that in my party. Saki, on the other hand, is quite a ways away from actually reaching both <laughs> where it can grow to, as well as just what it can grow into, so Saki will be staying around. Rum is, of course, ready to digivolve, but he also has uh, seven more levels in him. So I will choose if I want to digivolve, possibly for a boss, but otherwise he'll be staying with me as well. <coughs> Bacardi here. Uh, it's probably smart to actually, because I'm probably going to want to hook one, because, <laughs> I mean, it's funny. <laughs> Because obviously I can go for Copemon and I can get Platinum Sukumon. But I'm already going to get normal Sukumon, so I don't need both of them. So I will actually be putting Bacardi in the uh, island as well. So I can uh, pick Polk out, actually. Uh, Brandy will remain just there. And, I mean, let's just have a quick look at my party here. Pulp does need that friendship. Uh, Jin needs friendship. 
and Kombucha also needs friendship if I want to go for Ninjamon, which uh, I don't know yet, but uh, I could. <laughs> What's really tempting to me here is Mega Metal Star, which does Pokemon have it? He doesn't, which is a big effect, big hit. So I'm hoping that, especially because he's an attacker type as well, that Kombucha will be able to do a huge amount of damage with it. So I'll need to keep in the party for friendship anyway. So that is it, that's our party, and I think that's where I'll call at least this episode. Let me just get a save in. Next time, uh... Hold on. Did I... <laughs> Next time I'll actually find the pink lipstick <laughs> and probably do other stuff. Oh, also, this has touch screen compatibility. You can just use this to check the camera. I used to love doing this as well to just see what paths I needed to go down. But, uh, yeah, I'll be seeing you. Bye bye. Love you all.